Ryan Henderson still out. Colin Holmes very limited, just an individual. Buck Allen still out. Soma out. Xavier Grimble, Randall Telfer out, and George Farmer still out. Drew McAllister came out, and Junior Palme came out. So unfortunately, we can't seem to keep a tight end healthy. And a little disappointed in the hamstrings taking so long with a bunch of guys we'd really like to be looking at. So. The problem right now is the offensive skill that allows us not to practice the way we would like, but we're making the best of it. Are you going to be able to scrimmage on Saturday? I don't know. There are so many guys in question. We may just practice just like we did last Saturday instead of doing the scrimmage and um, tackle with not enough guys really to do it the way they'd like to. Did you see what happened to Junior Palme? Was it a foot or ankle or something? Uh, it was his foot, and it was the same foot as before, but we don't know the severity. What have you seen out of the uh, middle linebacker, the top two middle linebackers, Lamar and Scott Starr, so far this game? Well, I think Lamar is taking the next step. That is, that's normal for going into your second season. And you know, we forget these guys really still are true freshmen. And all these guys we keep talking about in that class, they're just in their second semester here. So um, he's just still getting comfortable at the, at the position in our defense, and so he gets better and better. And then Scott, obviously, still supposed to be in high school. Uh, it was very difficult. You know, we've seen how difficult it is for guys after fall camp you know, to play here last year, even in the past as freshmen. Some great ones that, that were backing up as freshmen. So it's very tough, but Scott's doing a good job. If, um, you know, if, he, if Lamar and Scott were the top two guys going into the season, would you feel comfortable with that, given their you know, collective lack of experience? Yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't. I can't really answer that because I don't know where Scott would be at that point. So I'd be plenty comfortable if he's playing well and, and taking in the whole offense. We wouldn't be against that at all. Uh, it'd be no different than last year having Lamar as the backup. As a true freshman, Scott would have an extra semester on him. So uh, we're not afraid of uh, young guys as being inexperienced, but are they doing things right with their inexperience? How do you think Marquise is picking out the, uh, the receiver spots? It's kind of, he's following the same model that Robert did last year, and Robert picked it up pretty quickly. Do you feel like he's doing it too? Yeah, Marquise is doing great. You know, we just, we're so hurt, and so we move him around so much he's got to play every position because of Robert and George not being there. Um, but it's good for him. You know, any time that you have to play all the spots, and, you know, when we're out here, we really try to wear him out when we get him because we lose him sometimes. We'll lose him again. You know, we're going to let him go to Texas this weekend. So we'll lose him Saturday again, so we try to maximize the practices that he's at. What, uh, so what's the discussion that goes on with, in deciding whether he goes to, to that track meet or not? Uh, really, it was just between the two of us. You know, he really wanted to do it, and so um, he's a good kid. He does really well in school, and so actually the majority of the track team already left. He stayed so that he could practice, and then he's going to leave um, for the meet and then come back. Tony, on the other hand, his event was earlier, so he's already gone. Um, he'll fly back after the event on Friday and hopefully be here for Saturday's scrimmage. So both of them just really, they really wanted to go, and they'd, they'd work pretty hard at it you know, to get to that point. What went into the decision to make a Saturday's scrimmage open to the public? Just a chance to, you know, be able to be normal. And, um, you, know, just, you know, the sanctions put so much on us as far as, 48 hours in advance, um, you know, immediate family. They're, 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 these players have a lot of people that want to come see them and never get to see them. So we were told we were able to make it open. And so it's just, it, it's a good, it's good for everybody. Did you, was this your idea? Well, we tried, we did do this. So I've always wanted this because it just, it, it allows all the people these guys are connected to to come see. And uh, we did this in the last fall too. If you go back to those preseason games, I think a couple of those were able to make open too. Coach, could you talk a little bit about Matt Barkley you know, not getting as many reps as he has, you know, previous seasons? Obviously, he knows the drill; he doesn't really need it. But I mean, do you sense at all him getting antsy? Do you, do you worry about that? I don't think he's really antsy. I think at times he gets bored, um, which is normal because we have so many guys out around him, and so I don't think it's the lack of reps. I think it's more not having these guys to work with. Wants to go to that next level with guys, and so to so the guys that are there, he's doing it with and getting more comfortable with. But hopefully, we'll get the rest of these guys back for him. Yeah, when he announced he was going to stay, you said you were going to try and challenge him more this season. What do you have?